Welcome to the Minecraft Dev Sync. It is Tuesday, the 23rd of November. Uh, Chris V is on leave, so Derek, kick us off. All right. Well, I've continued to work on my <laughs> mechanical CAD of the, the Mark II. Uh, I took a break this morning, though, to do um, a little holiday image for the Thanksgiving holiday. Um, for the, the the newsletter and blog and whatnot for Sarah, um, but yeah, mostly continuing to work progress on on uh, the the CAD for for the the latest revision, and that's going along, going along. Hopefully, I can have it to a point where I can print. Um, well, you know, this week is is a short week, so. Um, you know, either the end of very end of next week or the beginning of the week following. Lots still left to do little details and stuff. Um, good news is everything going well with the latest board spin, um, and I think those are uh, Maker Fabs should have those back to us by the second week of December. So. Yeah, so at that point, we should have a good, good prototype. Awesome. So that's up to. I th thought um, we also. Uh, Is this a DFM where... prototype or not quite? Well, I'm thinking. So there's a point. So yes, it's on. It's on route to DFM. Everything is mm. is considered DFM, but there is this like kind of very last pass where you go in, and like it each intersection of like a rib and the body, you have to like add this like tiny fillet, like the tiny rounded section and all this little, little nitpicky stuff that can take forever. It won't be fully done. I'm just gonna go ahead and print it once I get everything in place. Cause even though technically, yes, the fidelity of our SLA could probably do some of that stuff. It's really not gonna matter. Um, so get the fit tested first and then it'll probably be another week or two just doing that fine fine tuning stuff um, to really wrap it up. Um, yeah, yeah. And of course, you could talk about this too, guys, but we had a we had sync with uh, the Blue Systems folks this morning. And, um, you know, not much going on there, but there was some interesting, well, just, yeah, everybody's, um, you know, been busy with other stuff. Did you had a cool um, update on schooling text? And uh, they talked a little bit about how they had issues with Wi Fi stuff too. So I don't know if any of that would be useful, Ken, but I did send that over to you on, on Matter Um So yeah, that's it. That's it for me. <laughs> um, yeah, so there's a new proposed marquee text delegate which will do scrolling text. Um, so the idea being, you know, particularly if you've got like a, you know, we were originally talking about it in terms of the the media playback interface. And if you've got a really long artist name or a song title, um, you know, rather than just sort of truncating it with a with an ellipsis, then you could actually, you know, scroll it across so people can read the entire uh, song name. So that's kind of the concept there. Ken. Yeah, so I continue to work on this, uh, uh, I guess the workarounds for the uh, AW Connect container bugs. Uh, I did notice uh, what Michael saw. My, my device actually freaked out too and started interplaying Mimic 1 and Mimic 2. I did see 500 errors in the log at that time, but it also sounds like there's a caching problem. So when I get down to fixing the Mimic stuff, I'll, uh, the Mimic 1 stuff, I will uh, take a look at that and maybe that'll fix that as a byproduct of that. Um, what I'm working on with the Wi-Fi right now is the two different types. Uh, and where I'm at is I'm trying to get it to reboot. It's just not rebooting uh, with the standard uh, boot command, reboot command from Linux. So that's, that's kind of where I'm at right now. But, um, you know, if I see the clock is not set, uh, and I can detect that 
uh, various ways. It's actually this re this more recent build, the default date changed <clears throat> to like 2-14-2019. But if I see the clock hasn't been set, that indicates one thing to me. If I see that the clock is set, but we're disconnected, then that indicates another thing to me. So what I've done is I've, uh, in both cases, given them like three minutes. And if I don't see them coming back after that, then I go ahead and reboot. Uh, if there's no clock, that means that it just didn't boot cleanly, which means it's probably bad creds. And if there was a clock, but it's still disconnected after three minutes, that means the network went out. The other issue I noticed with their access point is it comes up too fast. So like fortuitously, I had a um, electrical outage today briefly and it reset all my equipment. And I noticed that when Mycroft came back up again, the access point came back up. Um, of course, because my uh, home network router didn't come up faster than the access point. And the access point captured the networks that were available to it at the time of boot, which was not my network because my network hadn't come up yet. And uh, it would never recover from that because it would never find my network. So um, that goes into the, uh, you know, kind of whole reboot process. So hopefully this will fix that. I've got uh, two new files and a modified file that I'll need to get into the build once I have this debugged. Uh, I thought that was the case and I was gonna give it to you now, but I'm not sure why it's not rebooting. So once I figure out the reboot problem, then I'll send you a couple of files that go into op Mycroft and then one modifies the uh, startup.sh file. So we'll take it from there. And uh, at some point, this will have to get integrated with the Wi-Fi skill and stuff. But right Just now, this will at least work on that. In terms of you trying to um, issue a reboot command, um, yeah. is you using system CTL? Or are you using... No. I'm using a sudo uh, reboot-r. Oh, or use... Um, yeah, use um, system CTL. That should work. Yeah, that's that's what I'll use. That's what I was going to switch over to. Cool. Once I get working, I'll email you these files. Um, let me know when they're in the next build, right? They'll have to go into the op Mycroft directory. And um, and then we'll then I can do a new build and give it a bad password and make sure it recovers from that. All right. If they're... Um... If they're intended for the opt Mycroft directory, that's just Mycroft core. So if you put them in... No, they're outside of Mycroft core. Okay. I'll... I'll... No, if you look at where the TAS uh, files are and the startup files, they go there. All right. All right. Um, cool. Uh, on my front, uh, the exciting, most exciting news is that the Sprint 22 is coming to a close um, because I finally uh, did a PR for the Wolfram Alpha changes. Um, took far longer than I originally thought. Um, yeah, the so the the idea is that it's you know like the Wikipedia and DuckDuckGill, DuckDuckGo skills um uh you will now get a a gui anytime you ask a, a sort of common general uh question and answer type thing um but we had to go through a bit of you know process to get you know there are different types of responses that um wolfram can provide uh so at the moment we're differentiating between three different response types so if there are, if it's a, a basic um, calculation, so if you say what's two plus two, it will um, display the equation itself. So two plus two equals four. Um, if you ask for a conversion, it will display the the output of that conversion. So just the answer. So if you said like how many teaspoons in a tablespoon, it'll say three or whatever it is and uh, uh three teaspoons i should say um and then if it's a general knowledge type thing that's about a particular topic then it will try and grab an image about that thing so if you said who's the current president it's gonna show you a picture of joe biden 
um, with the, the title of Joe Biden. Um, and so we try and grab those images straight from Wolfram's response, um, but sometimes it gives us a, a Wikipedia image, so then we grab that, and if all of that fails, then we go and try and grab something from DuckDuckGo image search. Um, so yeah, that's the, the current um, current state of it. Uh, I think those GUIs, particularly like the conversions and things like that, you know, there's there's some real scope for those to like um, to get fleshed out further. But in terms of you know an MVP, it it uh, it tells you the answer and displays the answer. So I think that's good for for the moment, and we could spend a huge amount of time making the the displays for that look really pretty. Um, which I'm sure we'll do at some point, but we need to get the the rest of the basics down first. Um, yeah, so as soon as we've reviewed that and um, addressed any feedback and everything, we can close out 22, and uh, and um, that'll be super exciting. Um, yeah. I think that was that was the main thing from yesterday. I oh I started um, adding some more stuff into the to the pull down menus about page, um, and um, a teacher has been helping getting the turning that into a flickable, so basically scrollable um, kind of element, so that you can you know have more information than fits on a single screen, uh, which would be sweet. Um, uh, but I'm going to put a hold on me doing new development stuff um, because I have been intending to get back and get onto community PRs um, for a little while. Uh, but the Wolfram stuff just took way longer than expected. So I'm going to spend a bit of time getting back and reviewing things there and, and going on a bit of a merge fest. So uh, that'll be my day today and probably tomorrow. Um, yes. All right. All right. Well, um, if you don't hear from me tonight, yes, you'll hear from me tomorrow, but uh, I'll be sending you some files and I'll want to get them in the build and then just ping me back when the build's done. Uh, doesn't matter. I'll work over the weekend. I don't have a lot of family in this week. My family's, my wife's family's coming in a week or two later. So uh, I'll be working through the uh, weekend mostly. But uh, yeah. Cool, Hopefully cool. by Monday I'll have the stuff done. Tomorrow I'm hoping to switch over to fixing the uh, mimic one stuff. And we'll still meet tomorrow, I presume. Yeah, tomorrow's, yeah we'll meet tomorrow. Yeah, sweet. Wednesday, yep. Yeah, cool. All right. Fare thee well, y'all. Cheers. <laughs> See you guys.